Hey, this is Marcy Klein from 3 Ducks Design, and today we're going to talk about how to make simple circuits with your students ridiculously simple. So all you really need is a 3-volt lithium battery and a jumbo LED bulb like the ones from the 3 Ducks Design Go Bucks Pro Kit, and every student will be successful. In essence, you start by telling the students that there's a positive side of the battery, which is shiny and has a plus on it, and the negative side of the battery, which is a little bumpy and has no words on it. And um, in this case, one of the 3 Ducks Design Jumbo LED bulbs, but any bulb will do. The long prong, which you can see on the bottom, is the positive and the short one is the negative. And then with just using your students' fingers, they can... Put one prong on either side of the battery and if you don't tell them to add the long prong to the positive basically 50 percent of them should get the light to work and 50 percent won't so the kids that don't work you just let them know hey folks you have to put the positive the long side to the positive side of the battery and then the kids that didn't get it to light will flip it around and every single student will have a working battery now, the best way to get kids to understand how LED lights in your classroom have anything to do with LED lights out in the real world, um, we have cardboard pieces with um, holes already punched out, but you can also use a hole puncher and basically have your students thread the bulb through the cardboard piece and then get the light to work with their fingers afterwards. Now, you can wrap that with either a rubber band, tape, or... Um, or string and that will stay lit until they dismantle. Now, the real beauty of using cardboard modeling instead of just your basic paper circuits is that, as you can see here, we created a three-dimensional stage for, um, in this case, Taylor Swift. And you can see how the customers or the viewers are only seeing the LED light like they would in the real stage, where all of the mechanics, the batteries, and all the wiring are actually behind stage. So it instantly gives kids an appreciation of how the LED light circuit that they have in their hands can relate to real world lighting scenarios. So now it's time to level up a little bit. And in this case, we're gonna add copper tape. Now the most important thing is that as the kids are building their copper tape circuit to understand that the lithium battery has the positive side actually wraps around the perimeter of the circle. So it's not just the top surface, but the actual depth of the battery is positive where the flat um, side on the bottom is negative. And the reason why that's important is because if you put the battery um, with the negative side on the bottom and then you wrap the next level of tape around the top, you won't create a short circuit. If, however, the students put the positive side facing down, when they put the second piece of tape on, which you'll see shortly, um, and they kind of like tuck it into the sides, they actually can create a short circuit and the light won't work. So for step one, every student should just put one piece of copper tape along their paper or their cardboard in this case to create just a single straight line. Place their battery again with the negative or the bumpy side facing down. And now they're going to cross over another piece of um, copper tape perpendicular. And this is what's going to create basically a sandwich tucking that battery in and your students are going to want to sort of tuck that tape in nice and snug to create a positive contact. The other thing that you can have students do is double up on the first horizontal piece of tape to give it a little bit more height and that will allow for a slightly better contact between all the parts of the sandwich. Lastly, your students, after they create the positive and negative, they're going to want to create um, a way for the LED lights to attach. So the positive tape is attached to the positive side of the battery. That's going to go to the long prong of the LED light. And the part of the tape that was underneath the battery hitting the negative is now considered like the negative tape that will attach to the short prong. And if they're all attached, the lights will go on. So here you see an example of the light going on in that format. Next up, 
we're going to make it a little more complex by creating smart lighting solutions. So what your students are just finished creating was a closed circuit. Now we are going to create an open circuit. So in this case, your students can just create a simple tear anywhere along the circuit. So now it's an incomplete circuit and then they're going to have an opportunity to close that circuit and turn the light on with any number of conductive materials. In this case, we created a similar design with an open circuit. And what we did was we made a little character with a copper tush or bottom. And when the copper hits um, the open circuit, when the little guy sits down, he turns the light on. Voila, light. Now you can add any number of conductive surfaces to make that switch. Um, so in the first case, it was a little character with copper on his bottom. This is a simple paper fastener, which also fits through um, the three ducts design pieces that have the pre-cut holes in them. Um, and when the paper fastener is rotated so that there's a positive contact, the light goes on like in the left, right image, and in the left, because it's perpendicular, you actually don't have the light going on. And your students can come up with all different tests to see, like, does it conduct, um, and test all different materials that they have in the classroom. The GoBox Pro of Note does include those um, switches. So for your students that are really speedy and advanced and want something more challenging, you can let them play around with those switches to um, see if they can create the circuit and the switch would turn the light on and off. So here you can see what an example of real student projects would look like. On the left, that was a class that was working on a redesign of a city in Haiti. And you can see how they incorporated their lighting into um, the entire community. And on the left, you can see how we created smart lighting solutions for the Taylor Swift stage. If you want to level up, you can work with parallel and series circuits. In the parallel case, um, you can actually have two lights in parallel with one three volt battery. Because the battery is three volts, however, um, when doing it in series, it will not work. So if you want to do it in series, as you can see on the left, um, the light's not going on. What we did was we actually added two batteries in series as well to double the amount of voltage. And that did the trick and got both lights to work. So that concludes our tutorial on LED lighting, ridiculously simple. Uh, if you have any questions about 3 Dex Design products or our online learning resources, feel free to reach out using the email or the QR code to set up a time to Zoom, and we can learn more about your classroom or your after-school program, your student needs, and we can help find the right combination of products and learning programs for your class.